Hello painting peeps and welcome, it's Kathleen from Cause Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone number three, guys. I know, excuse those shadows, I still haven't gotten my lights here. Uh, Rick and I have traveled south and bought a second home down in Florida and I've set up one of um, our spare rooms with a little workspace until I uh, save my money for my she shed out back. <laughs> I'm excited guys and I am making do and I am grateful for this space. So I did a painting the other day and um, I loved it. And I love the colors I use. So I'm gonna be using some of those colors again and I'm going to kick it up a notch. And we're gonna start off by showing you just a quick little uh, process of how I'm gonna mix these paints. Now I am using paint and Floetrol today, back to my roots about two years ago. Why am I using just paint and strain Floetrol? Because that's all this girl has. I could not find any Liquitex or GAC and it's being sent to me um, from Jerry's Artorama, and it's gonna take a little while to get here and I can't wait to paint. So back to my roots, paint and Floetrol. We've got a little three ounce cup here and we have got about an ounce of paint in each one of these cups. I'm gonna add about an ounce and a half of my Floetrol, probably very little water, if any. I need my paints a little bit thicker because we are going to do a very cool traveling ring pour technique. I don't have yet any of my five or eight ounce cups, just these little three ounce cups. So I'm going to make do by layering my ring cup in a bunch of small little three ounce cups. So let's talk about our paints in this cup right here. Let me bring it up to you. That right there is yummy goodness. That is folk art treasure gold and that is their blue quartz. All the paints will be listed in the description box for you guys in, can, in case you can't see it because I am way down here <laughs> sitting on a cute little stool with wheels. I'm as comfy as a pig in poop, guys. Right here, beautiful paint as well. Love my deco arts, deco art extreme sheen, and this is their sky blue topaz. This is a yummy, delicious paint, guys. What else do we have going on? Right here in this yummy cup, we have Decor Metallics, and that is their teal. <laughs> do you see that blast of sunlight? I have a peepee -pee pad hanging on the window <laughs> over there, and it just fell off. Let me go fix that. Sorry about that, guys. I am back with you. It's tough sometimes making do this yummy cup right here. I think we just talked about Deco Art Dazzling Metallics, and that is their teal. Now, I have not added my Floetrol to this yet. I'm about to. This is Deco Art Americana Satin Enamel, and that is their neutral beige. I love blues and tans together. Um, my home used to be all blues and tans and a little bit of brown. This right here, I believe I saw the Massey boys use this. This is Deco Art Americana, and that is their mermaid's tail, and that is a pretty yummy, delicious color as well, guys. Right here, one of my favorites, Deco Art Extreme Sheen, and that is their aquamarine. Right here, oh. Beautiful paint, Treasure Gold by Folk Art, and that is their Purple Topaz. Take a look at that creamy silveriness. Is that just beautiful, guys, or what? And last but not least, another beautiful color. That is Deco Art Extreme Sheen, and that is their Berry. I got a big old box in the mail from Deco Art of all these beautiful metallics and satin enamels, and I am a grateful, grateful girl. So, 
Base coat. Oh, base coat. I'm a little out of sorts, guys. Our base coat is right here. Now my base coat is going to be a little bit thinner than my pour paints. That base coat is a combination of DecoArt Extreme Sheen in the Pearl and DecoArt Satin Enamel in the Neutral Beige. So we're getting our blues, tans, and a little bit of rosy berry on. I think it's going to be a wonderful combination, guys. So I'm going to fast forward this a little bit, mix up these paints, layer my cup, and then we're going to get busy. Wish me luck. I hope we make a beautiful painting for us, guys. Let's put some tunes on. Let's get busy.
Now 